Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and today we're going to do a high and tight. So um, I'm going to put a little spin on it. I'm going to do it high and tight and high and tight technically you can change the lengths on this a little bit. It's going from like zero to no hair or zero to like a one. I'm doing to nothing from like no hair up to the roll of the head or the parietal bone and then this section right here is where it starts to blend and then the top is a little bit longer and I've seen a lot of videos and people wearing their high end tights and they just take like a number three or whatever and just buzz it all the way up on the top. I'm not a huge fan of that because the roll of the head it just is like gives it this round look. I'm going to leave a little bit more length in the front and give it more of like a flat look to it. So not really a flat top, but that is going to be closer to what what we're going for here. So this is my high and tight. I hope you guys like it. Let's go. So we're going to start cutting and we're just going to go from our closed clippers. That means that it's as short as it can possibly go. And I'm going to just take it and start here and then I'm just going to go straight up. Don't roll with the head. You're going to keep your body right to where you're working and just go straight up and then you're going to move around or spin the chair. I'm probably going to move around and spin the chair since I'm trying to give you the best angle, but let's do it. Okay, here we go. Straight up and the first pass can just be removing bulk. It's, it's better to leave a little bit extra on there just so you're safe. All right, now I'm gonna go back here. Just straight up. He's got lots of hair. High and tight. He's gonna be able to say that to everyone. Check it out, I got my hair high and tight. Yep. Okay, so now is where we're really gonna start getting in there. And this is awesome, because he's gonna have to shave when he's getting home, because it's shorter than his facial hair. Awesome, okay. Just go straight up. And right here where this grows in a little bit, you can take that off. But we're leaving this weight in here. That's very important. We're gonna go through with the comb later on and blend it out, but you can see it's just a straight line all the way up. And you can use a comb right here. Comb all that hair down, nothing, nothing can reach down here. If the hair is long enough to reach down here, it needs to be cut off. So you're fine. But just don't roll with the head. I can't stop saying that because it's kind of one of my pet peeves. You don't want to dement the shape of the head. I don't know, maybe you do. Oh, this would be an awesome mullet. Should we? Yeah. Would you love it or hate it? <laughs> We won't. I won't do that to you. I don't know. It's pretty hot though, like a mullet. Maybe we'll do one side high and tight, one side mullet. Start a new trend. Okay. I'm keeping my arm where I'm working. If I try to reach around with this, the line's not going to be right. I'm not going to be able to see if I'm going straight up off the head and Keep moving, don't let your feet be cemented to the ground. Either use the chair to move them. I mean, if I wasn't filming this, I probably would walk around him just so that I could keep using the mirror for the reference while I'm cutting, but I've done it long enough. I can spin around using him so that I can give you guys the best angle on the camera. Okay, straight up. So yeah, make sure you get all these hairs. How awesome would that be? Just leave those down there. And sometimes your clippers will vibrate and then start to open a little bit. Keep them closed, just keep checking that. You can keep your thumb on it if that helps. If you notice that your clippers are doing that, you can keep your thumb there.
All right. Straight up. So the cool thing about this is you get to choose the length on the top. You could totally leave it long and do like a pompadour look or I mean, technically it would still be a high and tight, I guess, slash pompadour, but they don't all have to be buzzed off is what I'm trying to get across here. Yes, I do realize if it was military, it would probably be pretty short on top. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now that I have the the sides done, I'm gonna take my T-edge flippers and just clean up any long hairs that might be around the perimeter, square it out in the back. Get rid of any neck hairs. So I'm just doing a square line, even though the hair is so short that it's not really cutting too much off. I do it anyway, it just makes it look cleaner. Okay. All right, so now is the fun part. We're going to get this wet. Use your spray bottle and mist it around. There you go. And we're gonna do some sheer over comb. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift this straight up and chop it off. And I'm just blending this weight line in a little bit, but I'm still leaving the weight. I'm just going straight up with the comb and I'm tightening up just a little bit. We're not going for a heavy weight line right there. We're just leaving some thickness, so that's not, so it gives it a nice shape to the head. That's what we're trying to go for. And trying to do this with your fingers is kind of pointless because the hair is too short. So you need to do sheer over comb. And you're just, um, so the top, the bottoms, the bottom for thumb is what's moving so that this is staying straight. All right, so I'm gonna start in the back and I'm gonna cut this with my fingers as short as I possibly can. I'm gonna start right here in the back in the Mohawk section and I'm going to cut it right there as short as I can get it following the guide from the section we blended in the back. And this you are following the roll of the head. And we're gonna do this all the way to this middle section of the head, right where the head, the, the comb would rest on the head if you let it on there if you let it just sit there. So I'm gonna comb all this forward and this is what we're working on right here. So I'm just gonna take that up in the mohawk, so a little half mohawk section, and chop that off as short as I can get it. All right, and then I'm gonna go back next to it. Do the same thing. I'm just gonna work in sections this way until I get right here.
And if it needs more blending on the sides, I want it to look pretty straight up on there. That was a nice little chunk. Let's blend that in. There we go. If you see any long spots, you can just do the comb over share. Your fingers won't be able to like pinch all of it perfectly. So if you have a few little long places, you can clean it up with just doing the comb over share, just to make it look a little bit more clean. All right, all right, right here, we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side, just clean up that section. All right, keep in mind we're only doing right to the ear or the roll of the head. As short as we can go with our, with our fingers. There we go. So if anything's sticking up over your fingers, go back through, check it. You can cross check it by going the other way. And that helps you get the valleys and peaks from finger cutting. Okay. Let's do one more little check here. Okay, so now we have the front section that we need to blend in. So, because we want the hair to not look super, super short right here and have this really round Q-tip head look, I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to elevate the hair up so that it's even with the back. So if you're wondering, you can take your comb and right there, so you're gonna still have some length on the front. That's what I'm gonna do. So, haters gonna hate. I'm calling it high and tight still because I think it is. And that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. So you're taking that section, blending it all the way back until it meets up with this super short back. Now that you have the mohawk section cut, tell your head up, so I have to get some high heels on with this guy. This length right in here, the low point, you need to even that out. So cut the hair, pull it straight up. Even that out. There we go. And then we're gonna cut back diagonal or no, horizontal sections all the way back until you meet up with that back section. Other side. See, you notice I'm cutting off more as I go back. I'm following that guide that I established in the middle. All right, and then I'm gonna connect the two, these two sides. So the front has the length that I want. Now I'm gonna have to go really short again. This is gonna be finger length also, right in this side.
and then I'm gonna go on this side, on, on his left side, on, on my right side, and I'm gonna face him, and then cut this way. It's easier to see my guide this way. And you can comb all this forward and clean up the front area. You don't want any little fuzzies hanging out. Okay. I see a high spot right here in the back. Just gonna cross check a few more times. Get this nice and tight. And also you can cross check in the front just by pulling that hair straight up and following it back to the guide in the back. And you, you will have a few mountains and valleys to clean up right here from the fact that we took horizontal sections with our fingers. So the hair that grows right in here, I always kind of push it forward and take it on an angle just to fade it in. And then it gives it a good blend from the face so that you don't have like a heavy weight line. You can even take your common like this and just knock it off with the clippers. To style this up, we're just gonna use some gel. I'm using the Firm Hold Styling Gel from Crew, American Crew. And stick it in there. Usually just goes all back. And you can see how he has some shape in his hair still. It's not just buzzed off. That's easy, I mean, I could have spent time trying to show you guys how to use the clippers and buzz the head off, but there's not really any skill in that. So if that's what you wanna do, just grab the clippers and buzz it off. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.